You know, I haven't always been a runner. I spent a lot of my youth cycling, track and road racing. But soon after high school, I realized that that was probably nothing but a dream. Fast forward 10 years and I was catching up with some old school friends. They knew of my endurance cycling background and so were telling me about this documentary they'd just watched. There was this running race in America that was so tough that pretty much no one had finished it in the 25 years it had been running. I sought out the documentary and watched it for myself. Pretty much everybody you see go after you really want them to succeed. You know that most of them won't. He goes on to say that you're never quite sure of what your limitations are until you're faced with something that you can't actually do. And that's made me curious about where my limits are. It always feels good to get up and get a run done. Um, even better so when you stay dry doing so. <clears throat> oh man, the weather forecast has been nothing but dubious the past four months. Uh, so uh, yeah, anyway, I got up this morning, checked the radar, and it was uh, very colorful. <laughs> uh, but I stayed dry. Um, possibly because of my supreme agility. Uh, mostly because I probably just got lucky. Anyway, uh, I gotta head into the shop and do a day's work uh, soon. But uh, this afternoon, <laughs> I am going to a resin brewery uh, to play some trivia, which is insignificant, except that none other than Lazarus Lake of Barkley Marathon's fame is gonna be there. I don't really know why, I don't really know what's happening, but uh, it should be a laugh, that's for sure. Uh, he's gotta be uh, one of the biggest uh, celebrity race directors of the ultra running community. So, uh, yeah, the fact that he's in uh, in town is pretty weird, but uh, yeah, we'll go along and uh, should be a laugh. <laughs> uh, I guess I better brush up on my trivia. You know, for a guy who we celebrate for inflicting so much pain upon us, he's actually kind of normal. <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect turning up to the pub. I uh, definitely didn't expect to have much conversation with the guy, but turns out Laz loves the chat. <laughs> We stayed there right until close and then stayed another half hour in the parking lot, just chatting. <laughs> he loves to talk about running, but he's also a pretty normal guy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just a big running fanboy that really shouldn't get as excited about meeting those sorts of people as I did, but I think it was more significant than that. The Barkley Marathons documentary was definitely the beginnings of my interest in ultra endurance running and so to meet the guy responsible for that was kind of cool 
I'm not sure I'll get the opportunity to have beers at the pub with Laz again, so I jumped on it and I'm glad I did. <laughs> anyway, maybe one day I'll run one of his races and meet him again, but until then, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, enjoying what I'm enjoying, and uh, I think that wraps this one up. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.